Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergaga.com and in this video we are going to create a drop down list of hyperlinks to the different sheets of this workbook. So I have this worksheet here which I have labelled as a table of contents but it could easily be some kind of report or some kind of summary sheet and I want the opportunity to jump to another sheet of my choice. Now I've done videos before where I have a list of the different sheets of a book and I've used the hyperlink function to run it off the text in that cell. What we now want is the actual drop down list in the cell to be the list of links. Now the first thing we need to do here is create that drop down list and I want it in cell B1. Now I've got a sheet at the bottom called lists and helpfully that already has a list with the names of the different sheets I want to link to. So over to my talk sheet, cell B1, a simple case of data, data validation, and I'll quickly create a list from that range on the list sheet. And that will be the first simple job done. I now have that drop down list, but I need my selections to be a hyperlink to one of the other sheets. And this is where the problem area exists. Now I could click on cell B1, I could come to the insert tab, and I can go and set up a hyperlink. Now you'll notice, if you've not done this before, that if I come into my place in this document, my options are the different sheets, which ultimately I want. Notice that dark green has these single quotes around it, because it contains a space. But then underneath that, I've got an option for define names. So my two options are to link to a sheet, yeah, what I want, but it's not dynamic, and define names. So our goal here is to use the define names. I want to create a formula in there that will make this a dynamic link. Now, the other problem we've got here is that if I use a formula for a define name, which we perfectly can, but if I do that, it's not going to appear in the link list. Name ranges that have formulas do not appear in the link list. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to start by just creating a named range that is not at all dynamic. I'm just going to come into formulas, click on defined name. I'm going to give it a, a really amazing name, like my underscore sheet. And it's simply just going to be a reference to my current active cell, cell D6. And I'll click OK. I can now go to cell B1, insert that link, and link it to that defined name. It will show there because it's not currently using a formula. Let me click OK. I've got myself a link. But we need that dynamic. I've got this drop down list at the moment. If I choose something and click it, that's not going to link anywhere useful. It's just going to that cell. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a formula using the indirect function. So I'm going to type this into a cell and then we'll copy it into that named range afterwards. So it's equals indirect, a really useful function that I've done videos for in the past. I'll put a link to one of them in the description of this video if you're new to this useful function. That will ask me for the reference text. So indirect converts text into a reference. Now in here, I'm going to put the address function so I can create this dynamic address to one of the sheets selected in the list. That will prompt me for a row number and a column number. Now for this example, I'm just going to type one comma one, one row, one column, i.e. cell A1. But just make a mental note because you might be of interest to you that I'm using index numbers. This gives us great flexibility. I could easily replace my number one 
with a count function. So maybe count how many rows are in a list and therefore jump to the bottom with a click of a link. I could maybe use a match function in there to find a row number. And then my link will actually take me to a specific item that it finds. There's a lot of cool things we could do right now. But for this example, I'm just saying A1. Nice and easy. The next few questions, absolute reference, not interested. A1 or R1C1 style, not interested. Then we get to the sheet text. This is what it's all about. I need to capture the sheet name that is selected from the list. So I'm kind of referring to myself, what was selected. And here comes indirect again. And I'm just going to put cell B1 in there. I want to read what's been selected from cell B1, pass it to the address function, so that can build up the address, which then ultimately gets given to indirect again, so it can be converted from text into a reference. And then I've got my link. Another close bracket for address, another close bracket for indirect. Let me take a copy of that formula and let me just stick a single quote before it so it stays on screen and you guys can see what we have. And now it's back to formulas tab, name manager. There's the static name I created a little while ago. Select the refers to area, paste in the indirect formula. And let me close this down and make sure that I do save those changes. I already have a hyperlink to that named range. So now if I come up to my drop down and I maybe select yellow and I go and click my link, it takes me to yellow. And if I come back to my tock and maybe I select dark green, the one with the space, give it a click, takes me to dark green. So we have our drop down list and whatever I choose from this list will become a link to that sheet. And there's a lot of potential here, as I mentioned, using the address function that you can potentially, rather than just link to A1 like I am, actually link to a specific area of that sheet or to the end of a row, end of a column. Really cool stuff, great for your dashboards. Ideally, I'd be linking back here to the main, which I'll skip in this video. I hope you found that useful. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargar.com.